Hey, Mixing Friends, Graham here from TheRecordingRevolution.com. Got a cool little trick for you today if you want to bring more life, more impact, more punch into your mixes. I was actually at the NAMM show in Anaheim last month and saw Andrew Sheps do this at uh, the Mix with the Masters booth, which was actually pretty cool. I wrote about Andrew Sheps on the blog earlier this week. If you haven't seen that article, how he ditched his console for a laptop mobile uh, in the box rig, you should check it out. Very, very interesting stuff. He's a very, very talented guy. Met him once, and uh, he's just a gentleman and a brilliant mixer. Uh, he's done everything from Jay-Z to Audio Slave to Metallica to Red Hot Chili Peppers to Adele. Uh, the guy is insanely good. But one of the things he's known for is a lot of his parallel processing. So he doesn't do a lot of actual uh, plugins or inserts on the individual tracks. A lot of his, his sound comes from parallel processing, different buses, and it's very intricate rig. One of the things he was doing is something he calls his rear bus. And that nomenclature comes from uh, an extra stereo bus on his Neve console that he used to work on. For my intents and purposes, I'm calling it the parallel mix trick because really this is what's going on. Take a listen to what this does first to the mix, and then I'll show you how it's set up, show you what's going on, and show you how it can be beneficial to you in your mixes. Here we go. Here's a part of a song without it, and then I'm going to turn this track on, and it'll turn the parallel mix effect on. Let me see if Low Pro can put some perspective in the situation. Yeah. Can't take away from all the men and women who gave their lives on the battlefield where the battle's real, but America's a battle still. Oh. Built off the back of black brutus, blood, thirsty opportunists, build us to the highest consumer. Monthly trips on slave ships, body shackled to the docks. Fast forward to present day, they try to tell me it's the stop. When they throw us in these slums, miseducate all our youngs, and they flood us with these drugs and these guns to judge what we become. I'm just saying, let's be specific if you want statistics. One out of 15 is in prison Coincidence is nonsense I see the same pattern Hashtag Black Lives Matter I scream for my people Until we're treated equal Very, very cool, right? A lot of cool things happening, um, and I want to show you what's going on and why this is this is different than just turning up your mix. Yeah, I know you're hearing gain, so a lot of you all are going to jump on this. Yeah, it's just gotten louder, and it has gotten louder, but you have to sort of see what's going on here to, to see why this is a, a helpful way to work. In essence, what Andrew was doing and showing us is he's routing everything but the drums to a stereo bus. So... You can see here uh, in my mix, pretty much the bass. Um, I don't have one of the bass distortion. That's an accident. But everything, the Les Paul guitar, the B3 organ, the Rhodes, all the vocal tracks, all the rap tracks um, are basically being sent on a post fader send, meaning you insert a send on the track after the plugins, that's going to send a copy of that track to this bus. But in post fader, which is in Pro Tools, the default mode, you have to hit pre to turn it to pre fader. Uh, in post fader mode, with the fader all the way up in the send, it's going to send as much or as little of that track as is determined by the actual fader. So it's going to send a, a copy of the whole balance of your mix basically to this track. So on this Les Paul track, it's going to send a good amount of the track. But over here on Low Pro's double vocal here, I've got it pulled down, it's going to send less of that doubled vocal to the bus. It's going to send as much or as little as the actual fader. It's post fader. So the amount is determined by the actual fader. And then I click this button here in Pro Tools, follow main pan just so that the send will be panned exactly the way it is in the real mix. So again, a post fader send that follows the main pan, which all that's doing, friends, is taking a literal copy of the balance of your mix, the way the plugins are, the way the panning is, the way the volume is, and sending that same balance to a stereo auxiliary or bus track, okay? That way what's coming in here is the exact same thing that's going to the mix bus in its exact same balance, except for the drums. We're leaving out the drums. And then what he does is, is sends it to a compressor, or puts a compressor on. So let me uh, mute the drums and mute 
the audio going to the mix bus because again this is just a copy it's i'm not saying you route all your band through this then go to the mix bus you route a copy of it through this track so here we have a copy of everything but the drums going to this p mix track let me see if low pro can put some perspective in the situation yeah can't take away from all the men and women who gave their lives on the battlefield with a battle's real but america's a battle still oh. so it's the rap vocals the bass the guitar and the roads for now and it's just a copy. Then what he does is grabs a compressor, and he's got a bunch of different compressors in his template. They all sound different, and he just sort of picks which one sounds the coolest in that moment on the track. In this case, I'm using an 1176, the Blue Stripe version, uh, the Waves, CLA 76, and just doing a little bit of compression. Let me see if Low Pro can put some perspective in the situation. Yeah. Can't take away from all the men and women who gave their lives on the battlefield where the battle's real, but America's a battle still. Built off the back of black brutus, blood, thirsty opportunists, build us to the highest consumer, monthly trips on slave ships. Now what's interesting about this is that now you've got a compressor that's reacting to the entire mix, except for the drums, in the the balance and the way that the entire mix is sent to the mix bus. So when the rap vocals are heavy, they are dominating the compressor, and so they are turning down the compression the most. But when then they the rap vocals pause for a moment, all of a sudden, the guitars can come back in, the bass can come back in because there's not this rap vocal fighting for it. So then it, it creates this ebb and flow of the instruments where when the loud ones come in, they dominate, and when they back off, other guitars come back up or other tracks feature themselves a bit more. And so it creates a bit of movement because all the tracks are playing with this compressor, except for the drums. Then what he does is simply blend this interestingly compressed signal into the, the entire mix. So what we're gonna do is now we're adding gain, yes, but what we're doing is adding this interesting gain into the already mixed kind of song and creating a little bit of energy that's contained, it's compressed, and excitement, but it's adding it in a way that blends with the uncompressed natural sound. So what I'm gonna do is bring up the P-Mix fader alongside all the band. And remember, this is only gonna add compression to the band and the vocals. It's not gonna add compression to the drums, but it's gonna add this compression in parallel, a lot like we do with parallel compression on drums. It is more gain, yes, but it is a different sound, so we can keep the musical and dynamic band and bass, and then bring in this compressed version of those that swirls around and has movement because at different moments, different elements of the mix are hitting the compressor differently, so it adds an interesting dynamic. So listen to how the vocals get more up front, um, not just louder, they get more up front, as if I was compressing the vocals. Listen to how the guitar and the bass and then the Rhodes and the organ at times get a little fuller, not just louder, but a little fuller, okay? So take a listen. Let me see if low pro can put some perspective in the situation, yeah. Can't take away from all the men and women who gave their lives on the battlefield where the battle's real, but America's a battle still. Oh. Built off the back of black brutus, bloodthirsty opportunists, build us to the highest consumer, monthly trips on slave ships, body shackled to the docks. Fast forward to present day, they try to tell me it's the stop. When they throw us in these slums, miseducate all our youngs, and they flood us with these drugs and these guns, then judge what we become. I'm just saying, let's be specific if you want statistics. One out of 15 is in prison Coincidence is nonsense I see the same pattern Hashtag Black Lives Matter I scream for my people Until we're treated equal Right, so you can you can feel the energy, a little bit of thickness And again, that compressed vocal sound on the rap Really, really comes out Because that's what in that moment is being dominated So here it is again, a little bit before and after let me see if low pro can put some perspective in the situation. Yeah. Can't take away from all the men and women who gave their lives on the battlefield where the battle's real, but America's a battle still. Oh. Built off the back of black brutus, blood, thirsty opportunists, build us to the highest consumer. Monthly trips on slave ships, body shackled to the docks. Fast forward to present day, they try to tell me it's the stop. When they throw us in these slums, miseducate all our youngs, and they flood us with these drugs and these guns, then judge what we become. I'm just saying, let's be specific if you want statistics. One out of 15 is in prison. Coincidence is nonsense. I see the same pattern. Hashtag. So very, very cool concept if you've witnessed the benefit of parallel processing in the myriad of ways it is, whether it's on the kick and the snare drum, whether it is on distorted bass, then you know the concept of this. 
What's interesting about it is simply that you're sending a post fader send of everything but the drums to allow them to hit the compressor, um, mirroring the level at which they hit your mix bus because of your balance. And it gives you a copy of the mix that is compressed and swirls around, adds some movement, you bring it in, tuck it under, you get some gain, get some thickness, get some energy, all without having to destroy the dynamics of your drums. That's the beauty of leaving the drums alone. The drums have their own hard-hitting thing where they're not affected by anything. They're consistent, but the, the band plays around with each other in that compression setting on the mix. So I call it the parallel mix trick. I'm using P-Mix as the denominator here. And again, this is Andrew Sheps' idea. He's been doing this for a long, long time, so I want to give him credit. It's something that I would say at least experiment with on your next mix. Another thing to try and see if it allows you to get more of that compressed energetic sound with less compression because you don't have to do as much compression on individual tracks. There's hardly anything uh, on my vocals, you know? And on the rap track, there's just one compressor on each track, but there's not really, it's not very heavy. Um, and so I'm doing a lot of that parallel compression. There's, there's hardly anything on my, the, the guitars, um, the keyboards. It's, it allows a lot of the heavy lifting to come on this parallel track, which you can then blend to taste. And it gives you sort of more um, average volume and gain without really increasing the peak volume too much. It's actually a really cool way to work. There you go, the parallel mix trick. Give it a shot. Let me know if you like it. Leave a comment below this video. Let me know if you're doing something similar to this. If you like these videos, subscribe to them for sure on YouTube. And even more importantly, jump on the mailing list. I tell you a million times, this is where I send my best material is to the people on my mailing list. You're going to get a free video series called The Smart Start to Mixing. An awesome ebook called The Number One Rule of Home Recording. Both of these will really help you out, get better sounding tracks with the gear you already have. And then I send a lot of exclusive bonus content uh, weekly to that list uh, for free that I don't promote or post anywhere else. So click the button below the video uh, to join the mailing list right now. It's free, it's fun, and it's where my best students are getting my best material. That's all I got for you today. I hope you make some great music this weekend, and I will see you on another video soon. Take care.